Hello and welcome to the Jojo Star YouTube channel, everything Jojo anime and manga. In a recent video I spoke about my opinion of the most underrated antagonist in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, and well, I thought speaking of my favorite antagonist might also be fun, especially since I have a lot to say about him. Funny Valentine of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 7 Steel Ball Run is my favorite antagonist in Jojo, and in my opinion one of the best of all time. In the following video I will tell you why, but also how Valentine's mindset shapes the fictional United States of America featured in Steel Ball Run. And in our world today, a lot can be learned from this character and his philosophy of taking the napkin first. And, you know, the reason why he's totally the best written antagonist ever. As the 23rd president of the United States of America, Bonnie Valentine has many motivations and goals that set him apart from other antagonists featured in manga. He's not evil for the sake of being evil like Dio, whom exists entirely in an imaginary world. Valentine instead is both realistic and ambitious in his philosophy. He has different goals than the protagonist, hence he is the antagonist, even though his actions aren't all evil. To explain his actions, goals and motives, a little backstory of Valentine is needed. When Funny was a child, his father went to war and never came back. One day, a soldier named Captain Valentine came to Funny's house and told him that his father was captured by the enemy. After resisting intense torture, he committed suicide in order not to betray his country. He retained a handkerchief, horrifyingly enough behind his eye, which Captain Valentine later gave to Funny. This was a big event in shaping Funny since, like his father, he followed his country and put it above all else. Later, during his serving in the American Civil War, while on excavation, Valentine's company perished in the desert. Valentine himself, exhausted, fell into the sight of the Holy Corpse's heart. His life was saved due to the corpse's power, and he inferred that the existence of a complete corpse was scattered around the rest of America. At some point later, he was captured by the enemy and brutally whipped, leaving scars spanning on his back in a pattern resembling the flag of the United States. In a symbolic way, Funny Valentine is forever branded as a patriot. The Steel Ball Run Race is a plot set up by Valentine and Steven Steele to scope through the United States of America to get the rest of the corpse parts, which was rumored to have life-changing powers. As he hosted and monitored the event, he sent out people of his choosing to make sure that things didn't go haywire in the process, while at the same time trying to find the pieces of the corpse part himself. Quite an ingenious plan if I say so myself, especially since the whole Steel Ball Run Race plan never really was found out by the majority of the public. Valentine is really great when he's using his intellect and position as president to his advantage, but also as a stand user using his stand D4C to its fullest. As a character however, Valentine has a few more shades so to speak. You see, Valentine's foremost characteristic is his deep patriotism. Marked by the gruesome fate of his father, Valentine's goal is the betterment of his country. To do so, he seeks the blessing of the saint corpse parts, becoming ecstatic when the corpse blesses him. Moreover, the president shows a great degree of determination and ambition towards his goal. At first, acting through his subordinates, Valentine then takes a greater active part in seizing the saint's corpse, confronting his enemy personally if need be, and ultimately claiming that he has no problem putting his life on the line to fulfill his objective. He also manages to regain his composure even facing the internal torture that Tusk Act 4 has inflicted on him. Valentine might want his country to thrive and want the best for his people. However, despite this, Valentine is callous about the lives of individual Americans, never hesitating when sacrificing his own subordinates in his quest for the corpse, even going as far as to kill them himself if deemed necessary. His patriotism also comes with some hypocritical egotism. Despite his declared goals of working for the interests of the country, Valentine is a ruthless individual, constantly using the metaphor of taking the napkin first to signify his gaining power. Me personally would say that this quote defines Valentine and shows his true thoughts and mindset. He thinks that power is founded on authority and part of the reason he wants the corpse is to obtain a spiritual authority on par with the Vatican. Convinced that not everyone's wishes can be fulfilled, one must always sacrifice something for the sake of another. Valentine chooses to put United States needs and interests above the rest of the world. Valentine respects ambition and ruthlessness and ultimately entrusts the corpse to the alternate universe version of Diego Brando. In and out of combat, Valentine shows a careful and observant side, regularly watching and thinking about the situation to best see his strengths and vulnerabilities. Another example of his cunning and intellectual mind. 
Valentine's Stand, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap or D4C enables him access at any time to any number of alternate worlds, universes or dimensions, where if desired he might swap bodies with his counterparts, granting him a pseudo-immortality. This requires him to get caught between two objects, for example a flag in the ground or a sofa in the wall. This limits D4C's ability, however not by much, since he has gotten caught between the water and the bottom of the sea as a method of using his ability before. When Lucy Steele later develops Ticket to Ride, Valentine may utilize a protective wall of light emanating from her, which deflects all misfortunes bolstering his defense even further as he becomes effectively invincible. He names this complementary ability D4C Love Train. Valentine's goals, combined with the actions he takes to fulfill them, makes him a far better written antagonist than the rest of the JoJo villains. And as I said, Valentine truly is an interesting character in JoJo, and in my opinion one of the best antagonists ever. Even though he might be overshadowed by the true best antagonist in Steel Ball Run, Diego Brando. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, then please like and subscribe, share this video around, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below.